This handsome actor was born in Seoul, South Korea on February 16, 1988. Although he looks perfect, but he has a fairly complicated family background. When he was young, his father decided to leave their family in order to remarry another woman. Even though it was difficult and painful, but young Kim Soo Hyun still had to grow up without a father figure. And he was only raised by his mother alone. Although they have been separated since childhood. But having a father who is a musician keeps the blood of art flowing in Kim Soo Hyun's body. His father is Kim Chung Hoon, the lead singer of the 80s Korean band Seven Dolphins. No wonder that this melodious voice is also owned by Kim Soo Hyun. As a teenager, he was known as a shy and quiet person. Many people did not think that he would be as famous as he is now, especially his middle school teachers who knew him as an introvert. Kim Soo Hyun himself never intended to be an entertainer from the start. But because of his quiet personality, his mother came up with the idea to enrolling her son in acting classes so that he could learn to develop himself. And unexpectedly, Kim Soo Hyun naturally felt comfortable and enjoyed his acting class. Since then, he has become more confident and able to socialize more in his high school. But even though he still looked calm in high school, Kim Soo Hyun was still a boy who sometimes played pranks. In 11th grade of high school, he once did something funny and tense, which shocked the whole class. He is reported to have flown 60 paper airplanes that were given fire. Then he threw the plane in the classroom, almost setting the school on fire. Kim Soo Hyun did this because he felt cool and amazed to see the plane he made flying. As a result, he was scolded by his teacher all day long. Even though he had been so stubborn, he was also known as a good boy by his teachers. Some of the teachers did not hesitate to praise Kim Soo Hyun, who was considered to have had seeds as an artist since he was a teenager, without him knowing it. He is very talented. He once sang on the school bus and everyone gave him a round of applause, said high school teacher of Kim Soo Hyun at the time. In 2003, he joined a theater troupe and made his first major acting debut in a theatrical play entitled Shakespeare A Midsummer Night's Dream. In the same year, he also starred in the musical drama Grease. After graduating from high school and feeling that acting was his goal, he was determined to continue his studies by taking film and theater major at Chungung University. He also continued to hone his acting skills through his roles in the theater and then managed to plunge into the professional world. He made his debut in 2007 through auditions and became a supporting role in the TV drama Kinchi Chi Smile. One year passed. In 2008, Kim Soo Hyun finally managed to become the main actor for the drama Jungle Fish. And in the following year, he also starred in many other short films too. After a long journey, in 2011 he managed to steal the hearts of viewers through his great acting and melodious voice in the drama Dream High. That year also became Kim Soo Hyun's debut on the big screen in cinema. In 2012, his name skyrocketed when he played the drama Moon Embracing the Sun. This drama received ratings up to 42.2% and was labeled as a national drama. Through this drama, he won the Desing at the 2014 Korea Drama Awards and the most popular actor at the Baksung Arts Awards. As his increased popularity, he also managed to work with several well-known brands and earned the nickname King of Advertising because of so many advertising offers he received. His advertising income has increased even more after he's starring in My Love from the Star. Prior to starring in the drama, he was reported to be earning $550 per ads. After playing in My Love from the Star, the rate increases to $720 thousand to $900 thousand. In 2015, he starred in the producers alongside with other well-known actors and received great audience enthusiasm. But unexpectedly, in the same year Kim Soo Hyun had to reopen his old wounds. His family story became the public spotlight again. After the appearance of a trainee named Kim Juna in Produce 101 Season 1, this woman appeared to the media and confessed 
fact that she was Kim Soo Hyun's younger sister from a different mother. No doubt the public was surprised, because so far Kim Soo Hyun has always admitted that he is the only child in his family. He has never told a story about his family background too. And in the end, rumors spread as if Kim Soo Hyun lied to the public. Not staying silent, the agency that was in charge of Kim Soo Hyun at that time immediately defended and gave a statement that it was true that Kim Juna was Kim Soo Hyun's stepsister, but they are never lived together before. So Kim Soo Hyun have no clue with his stepsister's dream of becoming a singer. Hearing this, the public felt sorry for him. Because unfortunately the story of his parents' divorce was revealed again. And made the public sympathize more. In fact, Kim Soo Hyun always claimed to be an only child, out of respect for his mother who raised him alone. After the situation has turned around, Kim Juna who was originally protected by the public, actually received many attacks due to her confession. Public thought that she just wanted to carry his stepbrother's big name, so that she can become famous too. But Kim Soo Hyun not angry with the situation, he actually provides support for his stepsister right after. Not only known as a kind-hearted person, but another prominent attraction of Kim Soo Hyun is his good acting skills. He is able to drain the audience's emotions, to the point of being hypnotized into the storyline. He is famous for his soul, he can cry eloquently while acting. And it is certain that every project he stars in is always selling well in the market. That effort made Kim Soo Hyun finally crown the most expensive actor in Korea. With many fans who love him, his career is getting brighter. And thanks to his great acting, he became an ambassador several times. In 2012, the Korea Tourism Organization appointed him as the promotional ambassador. In 2014, he also became the goodwill ambassador of Seoul. And he was named an honorary ambassador of Incheon International Airport too. Then on October 23, 2017, Kim Soo Hyun began serving in the military and was discharged on July 1, 2019. After that, he returned to the screen and reunited with IU as a cameo in the drama Hotel de Luna. And he also had a cameo in the hits drama Crush Landing on You with his legend characters in the film Secretly Greatly. 2020 has become Kim Soo Hyun's first comeback as the main character. He was played in the drama It's Okay not to be okay with So Ye Ji. This drama immediately became hits everywhere and achieved the highest rating in its broadcast time. Kim Soo Hyun has made various achievements in his acting history. So far in his career, this 34-year-old actor has acted in more than five films and dozens of drama series. But unfortunately until now he still hasn't confirmed his latest acting project. He last appeared on the screen through One Ordinary Day which aired in 2021. Kim Soo Hyun's bold move to take acting classes has completely changed his entire life. He who was hurt before has now risen and able to arrange a more worthy life for him to enjoy. He is the proof that pain can be turned into motivation to achieve unparalleled happiness.